Carpentry Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Carpentry Learning Outcome Number 2. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to request appropriate materials and tools for a specific job. Our topic is Request Appropriate Materials and Tools. Requisition Procedure Requisition means you are requesting for something that you need for a specific purpose in which you have to fill out the form and get an approval before you can get it. Requisition Procedure The information that follows will teach you how to accomplish the form in order to acquire materials. First, state the name of the project and the date when you requested for the materials. Number two, fill in the classification of the project and its purpose. Number three, write the number of required materials. Fourth, list the unit of materials to be requisitioned. Next is to enumerate the materials with their description. Then list the cost per unit and the total cost. Seven, write your name as a requisitioner. And finally, secure the approval of authorities concerned. Here is an example of a requisition form. For this example, the name of the project is the bulletin board. So, in making bulletin board, they need one piece three fourth plywood, one liter stained maple, one kilo finishing nail, one foot sand paper, one liter boysen paint, one liter thinner, and one piece paint brush. So for this project, the total cost will be 1040 So you will write the name of the requisitioner, the shop teacher, and the supply officer. Requested materials and tools according to the prepared list. Bill of materials. A bill of materials is a list of all things needed in a project together with their description, sizes, and amount or price. All information needed should be in the bill of materials. In layman's terms, it is just a list of materials needed for a certain project with its complete description, number of items needed, and its price. Parts of the Bill of Materials First column is the quantity that tells the amount of the materials to be purchased. Second is the unit that gives the measure of materials to be purchased. Third is the description that states the detailed name of the materials. The fourth column is the unit cost that gives the price of each material. And the last column, which is the amount, is the cost of all materials. We requested for an approval of a bulletin board project. After it was approved, we were going to make a bill of materials, in which the content is almost the same as the requisition form, which contains the quantity needed, the unit of measure, the materials and its description, the unit price, and the total amount. Here is the example of the bill of materials for the bulletin board. A time to remember. Can you make a bill of materials for this project? Project name, table, height, 3 feet, width, 4 feet, length, 5 feet, and the thickness of the plywood is 3 fourths. 